Hey everyone, it's getting that to be that time of year. Christmas time is almost here, and that's the name of this song, Christmas Time Is Here, written by Vince Guaraldi. And I've done a video about this previously, so I'm going to link to that video. It just got demonetized because of copyright, and that's okay because, you know, I played the song, I think, almost all the way through, and, you know, it's not my song, so uh, why should I make money from it? But anyway, um, I a viewer put in a comment, nobody ever talks about the third page of this thing. And I, so I was looking at the third page, and I see all these quarter note triplets, and I'm thinking, oh, boy. Uh, but uh, let's, let's take a look at that. When I go to videos of people that I'm subscribed to, um, a lot of times I just hit the like button before I even watch the video. Let's take a look at it. Uh, I've got, the, got it reprinted there up above my head, and it's in 3-4 time, and... I'm going to skip over to the third measure, which is a little bit simpler. And what we've got here is quarter note triplets in 3-4 time, just on the first two beats. So what do we got? We've got to do some math here, folks. All right, so we've got one, two, three. Now, what do we have to subdivide uh, to, you know, into those beats to get those quarter note triplets? All right, we have to make each beat a triplet like this. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, okay? And then the quarter note triplets are only going to take two of those counts. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Got it? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. what's written. I'm not sure if that's exactly how he played it, but that's what's on the page here. Looking at the first measure, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, two, three. So uh, I see something in the left hand there that looks like a problem. <laughs> Uh, so once again, that's like a quarter note tr uh, triplet down there divided into its three parts. Uh, that's what the little triplet thing over there means. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Is that right? Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, and three. All right, on to the next measure. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then, you know, when you've just got regular eighth notes there, it's going to be like one, two, and three. One, two, and three, like that. If anybody's got a better way to count this, let me know, okay? Jeremy, somebody, uh, you know, Adam, Rick, somebody, come on. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. One, two, three. the trick to this is then to start doing it even faster with that count still going on and then while you're doing that you just try to listen to what you're actually playing so you can internalize the rhythm and play it without having to count it out loud and feel it so maybe if I tap my foot See, now I'm feeling it there. I finally got it on that G minor measure. Da, 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 di, da, two, three. Da, 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 di, da, two. And then, oh, let's see, let's look down there at that E flat. 13 sharp 11. All right. I'm assuming this is what he played on the record. Uh, you know, you'll you'll hear on other channels that these closed voicings, right? It's completely a closed voicing. That's not very jazzy, but uh, it sure sounds jazzy to me. And I like closed voicings. A minor 11th sounds great as a closed voicing. 
This chord sounds pretty good, you know. Could leave out the fifth maybe and give it a little air, but uh, that's what I like. All right, let's let, let's do the counting. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So there we've got like five quarter note triplets in a row, six if you count the one that's tied. Can I feel this? One, two, three. And then done. All right, so uh, I hope that makes the viewer happy that nobody ever covers this page. And you know, it's a nice variation. You know, if you're trying to improvise on the song, um, three four is sometimes a tricky uh, time signature to do like rhythmic polyrhythms and things on because uh, you know you're so used to playing in 4-4 four, four time that eventually you, you get lost and the drummer gives you a dirty look and all that kind of stuff. <laughs>